hello guys, welcome back to Barry's Corner. It's Emily here, and today I'm going to be showing you a thrift book haul. Okay, so basically I was literally like, Emily, let's show all of these books after you buy all of them. Like, get them in the mail, like, after you get all of them. And I was just like, Emily, if you do that, then you're never going to do this video because you're going to, I buy so many books. Like, these two stacks right here are all the books, and they go, like, down, down here. So, yeah. But it's okay. Like right now in my in my thrift books um cart, there's like four books, and then in my book outlet, there's like a lot. And <laughs> I don't I don't know what's wrong with me, guys. I'm just I'm just a book addict. Like I I can't. I literally cannot stop buying. But I have a book buying van right now. But then I just found out that Vampire Academy series and the Mortal Instruments series are really cheap on thrift books. And if you have not seen my popular books, I have not read. I'll leave that down below. Um, I mentioned how those are both series that I have not read and I want to read them, so, yeah. Let's just start. This is gonna be a really long video. The first book I got is My Life Next Door by Huntley Fitzpatrick. As you can tell, I already have one, and I actually thought... Okay, so I was scrolling on thrift books, and this was on the homepage. I was, like, recommended, and I was like, oh my, oh my, oh my gosh, I lost it when I moved. And I was thinking about Since You've Been Gone by Morgan Matheson, because I lost that book when I moved. And so I bought it, and then I realized, like, one day, I just had, like, an epiphany. I was just like, whoa, wait, hold on. What book did I buy? And then, yeah. So now I have a double copy. And when it came, this came with, like, a broken spine, and I'm kind of confused. I don't know. Oh, well. I book is My Life with the Water Boys by Ali Novak. And I actually give her so much praise for this book, because when she wrote this, she was 15 years old. And I, like, think that's such an amazing thing. Like, that's what I want to do. Like, it was such an amazing book. I read this. A while ago, I gave it, oh, by the way, I gave it 5 out of 5 stars. It was so amazing. I gave this one, okay, I gave it 5 out of 5 stars. I just didn't like the ending, but that's like a per personal preference, but I don't know. So, <laughs> um, but I love this. I love when she, how she wrote it. It's just, she's just amazing. I got this book because I lost it when I moved, and so yeah. This is What Happy Looks Like by Jennifer E. Smith, and... This was, I think it was on my recommended, I don't remember, um, but they got my recommended right because all contemporary romance, like, all of it, and I'm actually so excited. I put this in my, what did I put this in? My dog, my TBR, my artist TBR, so I'll also leave that down below. And my dog picks my books, you should go check that out if you haven't already. Um, yeah, so basically this is about, like, a girl and a guy, and this guy basically sends this girl an email and by mistake about his pet pig and then they start talking but he's famous and then he goes to spain one day and they meet in real life and yeah next books i have is the ugly series they're backwards because of the way i put them on my shelf um i know there's one more book to this series that came out i believe last year yes um but honestly i just don't see the part of the series i don't know but and maybe i'll get it i don't know it was sold out on their books too so it didn't really matter if i wanted to get it or not but like look at the spines like I don't I don't know they make me so happy <laughs> um basically this is about a girl in a world where if you have plastic surgery by a certain age I think it's like 16 or 15 you have plastic surgery so you can become pretty basically and this is a girl that has not had plastic surgery and she's called an ugly basically so two books are duology by my one of my favorite like contemporary romance authors Casey West I have like, I don't know if you can see it. All those right there are all Casey West books. I love her so much. Um, but I, this is like her first publishing books and I never read them. And I felt really bad about that because I'm supposed to be a true fan. So I got them. My favorite series of all times. My favorite trilogy is Shatter Me series. Love that series. But um, the, this is my favorite series of all times. It's a James Patterson Witch and Wizard series. And I love these books so much. They're a boy girl. They're a boy girl. What? They're boy books. They're girl. Gr God, I freaking can't speak. They're boy books. They're girl books. Oh my fucking gosh! I can't speak. They're boy books. They're girl books. They're literally every single thing. I love the covers. There's these, but then they. I think it was like the second ones. They came out with these, and I love them so much. Um, to actually get like good pricing on them, I had to like get like different types of covers. But that was literally okay with me. I know that later on I'm going to get all um, books in this cover as well. And I don't know. I don't know. I just, these are, this is my favorite series. It's about a girl and a guy named Wit and Wisty. And they're brothers. 
bro brother and sister, and the government and their witches and wizards, if that was not freaking apparent. And the government is basically trying to kill them because they don't like art. So, yeah, they're a rebellion. That's all I can basically say about it. I haven't read this in so long. I, I love these. I love this series so much. Series. I know there are five, there's only two right here, but my the first one, the selection, the sele oh whoa, the second book in the selection series. It's in my book bag because I want to read it after I read the Fauntner Stars, which I am currently reading. Um, so yeah, but I know there are five books in this series. I know there are five books in the series, but the last two are like about her daughter, and I really just don't care. So, <laughs> I only got the first three books. Um, so far, I love it. It's basically The Bachelor in book form, and it's amazing. And that's just all you have to know. It's am Let's keep on with these series. <laughs> um, this is the Anne and the French Kiss series. There's a third one in this trilogy, um, but I honestly just don't care about the third one. I have not read either of these. I am going to read it. That's why I'm saying. I bought too many books, and I, I need to get to them all. Um, but these were the ones that really, really interested me. Lola and the Boy Next Door. I don't know. R the Boy Next Door, really? That's like cliche romance contemporary and that's what I love so and and in the French Kiss which I heard they were cheating on and I, I don't know how I feel about it but I just want to read these and yeah I didn't realize that I got this one in hardcover and I don't like when my series are like different but I do like that they are like um I do like how they are um companion novels I believe so I don't have to have them next to each other whenever I'm you know organizing my bookshelf so I that's why I don't mind when this is in a hardcover the next one is We Were Liars by E. Lockhart. I got this in my from my library and I really, really wanted it and I wanted to read it. But then I heard such amazing things about it and I was like, if I read it from the library, then I'm never gonna buy it. I don't know, I'm, it's just, I'm weird, guys. So I didn't read it. I didn't read it when I went to the library and I bought it. That was like a name. The next one is Love and Gelato. Um, everyone has heard of this book everyone um there's also L lucky in love i believe there is um but i want i really just wanted to read this and actually you can't see it but up there um i got a library book that was eleanor and park which i believe is like one of her first books ever that she made and so i don't know so i got that one from the library and now i got love and gelato that i'm so excited to read <laughs> next one i keep saying next one and i just don't know what else to say but the next one is My Heart and Other Black Holes by Jasmine Wa Wa Wanga. Okay, but I heard that this this is a depressing contemporary. As you can tell, a lot of these were contemporaries. Um, this is a depressing contemporary about a girl who wants to commit suicide, but she doesn't want to do it alone. So she finds this website and she finds someone that she wants to t do suicide with. But then... Um, but then she's like doubting herself and so she's sort of reeling in between should I like should I do should I commit suicide or should I like try to get this person not to basically that's just that's just what it is um I heard this from a lot of people but mostly from <laughs> Haley and Bookland <sighs> my brain from Haley and Bookland because the movie was coming out and everyone was raving on about how this book is the most amazing thing ever this is a trilogy I did not buy the rest of the trilogy I just didn't it was really expensive so I just got this as you could tell I just go for the cheap books that I've been wanting to read for a really long time because I'm actually I just don't have a lot of money I really don't I literally spent like almost a hundred dollars today and I'm literally I have no more money and so that's another reason why I'm going on a book ban because I actually have no more money and I need money to like spend on important things which books are very important but you know so I only got this one but it looks so beautiful I don't know like this is so pretty so I'm planning on reading this before I watch the movie so hopefully I'll read it very soon hello guys I'm adding this into the video because I just finished watching um to all the boys I've loved before and I'm crying i wipe my face i'm still crying like i cry in every movie but like i just cried so much and i don't know why um so my birthday is tomorrow like the day that you're watching this it's saturday you're well you're watching this on friday but my birthday is tomorrow anyways so i just wanted to say that for my birthday i am going to read to all the boys i love before 
and then give you guys a review because like i don't know i've never done like a movie movie adaptation review and i thought that'd be really nice and sort of like my gift to you for my birthday i don't really do anything on my birthday but i wanted to give it to you <laughs> review even though you've heard like millions but um yeah sorry for interrupting the video okay bye um this is looking for alaska i bought it and then because everyone it was like such a big hype around it but then I heard a clockwork reader talking about it and how he portrayed a woman in it. And I was just like, okay. So now I'm like skeptical about it. I don't know. I, I don't know. I saw it and I, I forgot what the synopsis was, but I liked it. So I got it. Impulsive buyer right here. Um, I'm pretty sure basically this is about a girl. Um, this, is about, this is about a girl that lives in a... A, like asylum and she's earned her like title of like the craziest of the crazy and she will can she can be left out if her parents can pick her afterlife because apparently your afterlife is way more amazing than your first life so yeah that's all i know about it i heard this from uh, from peyton reads and i'm very excited about it. and i this is an oldie apparently but a goodie and I saw that the movie came out and I didn't know it was a book um, until I saw some people talking about it. I think, again, Haley in Bookland. I'm not really sure. I think it was, again, in if, if you like this video, then you'll like this. And she talked about it and she talked about how she praised this book. And so I kind of want to, I didn't see the movie and I kind of want to read it and then see the movie afterwards. So that's the plan. Carnival. I really, really high key thought that I got this and I, um, hardcover but apparently i didn't and that's confusing me um, it's really confusing me but i guess i got it in a paperback which is fine too but i kind of really wanted it in a hard cover i don't know what oh well it's fine um the sequel already came out called legendary that was a lot of money on thrift books again i don't have a lot of money right now i i just don't have a lot of money right now so yeah i got it and i'm so excited for this I'm so excited. Like, it makes me so happy. I just, I want to caress this book forever. I got the bells. I've been wanting this book forever. Um, basically, this was expensive everywhere, and it was still expensive when I got it. It was expensive. Like, it was less than what you would have paid online, but it was still pretty expensive for what I usually pay for my books. So, I was just, I was like, you know what? F it. I've been wanting this book forever, and I'm pretty sure there, it's, and I'm gonna become a series. Oh my god! Oh my god! I love when a book does this. I love when they put like one on the side, like one, two, three for their books. They every single book they need to do needs to do that. Every single book series needs to have that on the side, a little like one or two to tell you which one is a part of the series. Oh my gosh. Anyways, um, I've been wanting this book forever, and I was like, you know what, F it. I've been really, really, really wanting to read this book, so I got it, and I think this I. I can't really explain the description. Okay, guys, that is it for my book thrift. Wow. Okay, guys, that is it for my thrift book haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. A lot of books. A lot of, lot of books. But I'm so glad that my thing is my collection. <laughs> I'm so glad that my collection is growing. Um, soon I am going to reorganize my bookshelf because I do not like how it looks now. There's some up there. There's some, a couple up there couple up there but that's for my library books right now some down here that i don't really mention um please subscribe if you like me hopefully you do because i am a really annoying person sometimes so i'm very sorry about that please comment down below any books that you are in love with please comment down down below because i really need some more book recommend recommendations and please smash that like button if you like this video love you guys so much bye